So in this example, we're asked to determine whether three is an eigenvalue of a given matrix. Now it turns out that verify, verifying an eigenvalue is um, substantially more difficult than verifying whether something is an eigenvector. If you're given a vector and you're asked, is this, the, um, is this an eigenvector for this given matrix? Then all you need to do is multiply the vector times this matrix and see if you get a scalar multiple. Because remember, um, the relationship that we're looking for here is ax equals lambda times x. So this is where uh, x is an eigenvector of a uh, when, when you multiply by uh, this matrix a by the vector x you get just a scalar multiple and that scalar multiple is called the eigenvalue so the lambda is the eigenvalue. So here to verify uh, whether 3 is an eigenvalue of this matrix uh, what we want to determine is uh, whether uh, there's a vector x where um, a times x is equal to 3 times x. So we want to determine whether this has a non-trivial solution. So that's, if, if you let x be the zero vector, then both sides of this equation are zero, and, that, and that's, um, you know, not all that exciting. Um, but a, a non-zero solution uh, to this equation would be uh, an eigenvector, and that would prove that 3 is an eigenvalue. Okay, so we want to check that. Uh, so we could take the matrix A here, Let's see, 0, 1, 1, being careful to copy the matrix correctly, because a lot of times that's what goes wrong, uh, times an unknown vector x. So I'm going to put x1, x2, x3 for the entries of x. Uh, we want to find a solution where this is equal to 3 times x. So again, the x1, x2, x3 for the entries of x. Now this will lead us to a system of equations. Uh, if we multiply, let's, let's go um, multiply across the first row and down the column here uh, on the left-hand side. So 1 times x1 plus 2 times x2 plus 2 times x3. So that gives us x1 plus 2 times x2 uh, plus 2 times x3 is equal to, over on the right-hand side, just 3x1. And we could do the same thing in the next two rows. So 3 times x1 minus 2 times x2 uh, plus 1 times x3 is equal to, over here, 3 times x2. And then last row, 0 times x1 uh, plus 1 times x2, oops, x2 uh, plus 1 times x3 is equal to 3 times x3 on the right hand side here 3 times x3 uh, so there's your system of equations if we move the uh, x terms over so in that first equation if I subtract 3x1 from both sides I'll have negative 2x1 uh, plus 2x2 plus 2x3 equals 0 if I subtract 3x2 from both sides here I'll have 3x1, and then I'll have negative 2x2, and then minus 3, so negative 5x2, and then plus x3 equals 0. And then last row, so I subtract 3x3 from both sides, so I'll have x2 minus 2x3. When I do x3 minus 3x3 equals 0. Okay, so now we can solve that system with an augmented matrix. This first row corresponds to our, that first equation. Second row and third row. Okay, uh, let's see. So there's a couple ways we could get a one in that top left entry. I'll do, since we have twos across the board in row one, I'll do negative one half times row one uh, to get a, a one in that top left entry. So these guys will become negative ones, and zero is still zero. Uh, okay, I'll leave these other two alone here. Uh, I would now probably do a swap. Um, swap row two and row three. Uh, but also, I guess I'll, I'll do this first. I'm going to turn that three into a zero. So I'm going to do... Um, 
Yeah, actually, forget the swap here. Let's do this. Uh, so negative 3 times row 1, add that to row 2. Get a 0 in, in, that, um, in this entry here. Okay, so negative 3 plus 3. Uh, negative 3 times negative, so positive 3 plus negative 5, so that's negative 2. Uh, positive 3 plus 1. And 0 plus 0. Okay, so I, I could do a swap to get a 1 in this next little pivot position here. Um, I also want to turn, well, okay, I'll, I'll go ahead and do that. I'll swap. Okay, so I paused while I did that to keep this video a little more brief. Uh, and now to get a 0 in um, that bottom row. So let's see, 2 times row 2 plus row 3. So that would be, let's see, 2 plus negative 2, so that's 0. Uh, negative 4 plus 4, so that's 0, and then 0 plus 0. Okay, uh, so now we know we're looking at a dependent system. There's going to be infinitely many solutions. And uh, for dependent systems, I like to make sure that I go all the way to the reduced uh, row echelon form. So I'm going to do one last row operation, row 2 plus row 1, to get a 0 in this entry right here get it in that reduced form. Okay, so I've been pausing while I do some of the just copying here, but so row 2 plus row 1, so 0 plus 1, uh, 1 plus negative 1, negative 2 plus negative 1, and 0 plus 0. Okay, so based on this, we know that our solutions look like this. 1 times x1 uh, minus 3 times x3 equals 0. This is a 3. Okay, good enough. Uh, x2 minus 2x3 is equal to 0. And x3 is our free variable. So we're trying to describe uh, the solutions uh, to this system of equations. And it looks like uh, we just need x1 to equal 3x3. And we need x2 to equal 2x3. And x3 can be anything. So uh, the solutions here have the form... Let's see, x1 should be 3 times x3. x2, this should be 2 here, uh, is 2 times x3. And then x3 is just whatever, so just like that. Um, where x3 is any number. So this describes all of the solutions. Um, this describes all of the eigenvectors uh, corresponding to uh, the eigenvalue. Oh, now I forgot. Yes, 3. Um, so first thing, yes, 3 is an eigenvector, or sorry, an eigenvalue um, for this matrix. And there are infinitely many corresponding eigenvectors. All vectors of this form are eigenvectors. So uh, the problem asks for one specific eigenvector. You could just choose a value of x3, anything other than 0. 0 is not considered an eigenvector because um, that's going to be a solution uh, it's easy to make uh, the zero vector a scalar multiple um, of that vector when you multiply by any matrix. Um, okay, but so if we let x3 equal, say, 1, then you get the eigenvector uh, 3, 2, 1. But um, 300, 200, 100 would also be if you let x3 equal 100. That's also valid, and that would also be an eigenvector uh, corresponding to the eigenvalue 3. But yeah, probably something like 3, 2, 1 would be a, a more reasonable solution.